Hey guys, what is up? We are here with Daru. Um, he is currently undefeated. Uh, one or 2-0-1. 2-0-1, he has to draw. And um, he's been kicking butt with the Gogeta leader, guys. Um, we are here at the Pro, Pro, Pro Play Tour Philly, and um, he's been wrecking with this deck. So without further ado, I'm gonna let Daryl go ahead and explain what the deck does. And So basically, like the deck is just a control deck. It's blue-yellow. Um, it's great against like any fair deck. So basically, it's even good against Toa. Like the card advantage you net off this deck, off your leader, and then off the backside of your leader, being able to sack energy, draw two cards. So I picked blue yellow just because of the, all the new um, counterplays. So yes. like the Champa and the Frost Deadly Poison. Um, so basically, you start off with the regular um, Gogeta package. So I play only uh, five of each Vegeta and Goku, and then I play the four uh, Beku. So play two of the one drop Vegetas, uh, two of the one drop Gokus, uh, two of the two drop, essentially the same all the way across the board. So, um, so five of those of each. So you, you want to make sure you have an even number so basically you can find them. Um, sometimes you whiff and it, it happens, but it is what it is. You just keep it moving. Uh, the deck's so controlly, like you can basically get out of it just by with all the other battle cards. Uh, harder the deck is the Becky's. Uh, you get this off turn three. You block, block anything like the first attack. You get net two cards, net two plus energy, and then yeah. I think game two, you just hard dropped him against me. He was like, yeah. "Fuck this!" I, just my lingers. He was like, uh, "I didn't, I, I didn't swing into it." He was like, "Just hard drop another one." Yeah. Um, standard four super combos. Um, I play these because like it's easy to awaken. Everybody's attacking you right now. Nobody's trying to stall you except for like Toa um, and Shin Gogeta, but. Even against that deck, you're kind of favored because of the counter plays. Um, I play two of these just because Veggies is really big right now. Yep. It's easy for me to get the three energy, energy, so I'm just constantly bottom every battle card they play. Um, put them in the draft is not really that great because they have the, the KO con. Um, that allows them to pick yeah, it back up. Pick it yep. back up. So putting it at the bottom of the deck is more beneficial. Um, another part of the deck is Chamba. Turn one, you charge uh, the Beerus, you'll see later. Um, you basically tap any like, battle card that's gonna be like threatening to you. So any double strike, triple strike, so this taps everything because it gets around barrier. Um, your self-awakening cards, uh, three source of power Goku. Uh, it's just those, I guess those decks do try to stall you out. And then you get one at all cost Vegeta. Um, so just like I say, and like against Toa, like you just you definitely want to keep these in your opening hand because they're going to try to stall you out. And they don't drop your hand before turn four, so you net four at least two to four cards off these cards every time. Yeah. Um, just like tech cards, so I play uh, one of the SS2 trunks and one uh, meter in energy Vegito. He's a one of, and this is the dude that smoked my boots. Go ahead and explain. So basically, uh, the reason why I play this deck, so you're constantly ramping, making an eight energy is super easy, um, and you charge this guy, and you basically you attack, even if they negate you, you still get to use this auto. You can play this guy from your energy, um, and basically lock them, lock them out of the game for a turn or two, um, depending on how much energy I have, I might use this effect the next turn. Um, but, so like in this match, I literally played this, locked his energy down, and then the next turn, I played the uh, the, the Tatara Secret Rare and basically just sat there and controlled the board like that. Um, then you play uh, three Dragon Fist, self-explanatory, uh, gets around battle cards with barrier and lets you uh, extend your board and keep on tapping energy. So you can attack with this guy, untap two energy, bury another battle card, bounce another battle card. And it's double strike, 25k. So I just attack most of the time. I don't combo. I let them sit there and have to waste cards out of their hand. Uh, this basically charge water. Um, turn one, you play this. Any any one of these after that, it's just a free charge, untapped, full color. Yeah. And if you get in a situation where you just want to summon it, I mean, you draw a card off of it, so it just replaces itself. Uh, the secret rare this won me like almost every game. He won you both of our games. That he won you this game. Yeah. Yeah. So like five energy, I'm tapping all the rest of their energy or battle cards, and swinging it for twenty, and drawing four cards. Like it's like insane. Like yes, it's not as good as all the other secret rares, but 
like being able to tap all your energy while I have a Dragon Fist out, so it forces you to have the spark through the gate. And then I attack you with Dragon Fist, if you don't have another gate, I'm probably gonna out combo you. I have usually like at least 10 to plus cards again. Uh, the one other tech card is one You actually hard casted him against me as well. So you can overwhelm this guy or you can just hard cast him. Like, and this deck is super easy to hard cast and this permanent stays on the field. So untapping with Sushi Bin, any kind of negates, any super combos, any unyieldings, anything. Even an unawakening, just like, it's insane. They lose so many cards. Like, this is how I beat Eon the first game. Like, I literally played this, had the Secret Rare, Dragon Fist, and uh, me or uh, Vegito on board. Like, like, if he would've beat me in that game, like, I deserve to lose, like, essentially. Um, so the what I was banking on was um, dropping a red energy, yep. then awakening to red. Um, yep. Trunks into chain attacks in a yeah, and that's why I left the uh, Vegito up last to attack so yeah. I can lock down your energy yeah. in case you try to double sensi beat me like you did. Yeah. Um, so, extra cards you play for our dimension best magic. In the game, in the game. Right, this is especially with blue yellow and being able to manipulate your energy yeah. allows you to do so many counter plays. Mm -hmm. It's just incredible. Yeah, so these are self explanatory. Especially when you have life. You yeah. just Take two, untap, now chomper you, yep. just net advantage. Yep. And then for Sensu Bean, like this is just the way, honestly, like it's not even, there's not too many aggressive matchups that I'm too scared of. This is more to extend my plays. Like, yep. like he goes to attack me with his leader, don't combo, or right, I play this, untap two, so I can have up all my counter plays. Um, or I do it on my turn so I can bury another battle card and have energy up at the yep. same time. And then the last, last extra card, uh, Frost Deadly Poison. This card is insane. Like, just to be able to cast it for three, Cobo Lust and Crusher Ball my opponent, and I get to draw a card. And if yeah. I'm at three life, this essentially costs two. And the biggest thing about it is the combination of the colors that gives it the most fluidity. A lot of people think that, oh, well, three, three cards are expensive. When you put it in a deck like Gogeta or for any blue, yellow leader, you have a lot of access to manip um, energy manipulation, which ultimately means that this card is very much live. And biggest thing is that, yeah, we are used to Bloodlust, but now that Bloodlust is at one, you have a situation where, you know, this is now king of the crop almost. Right. Uh, and, so, and this gives you the chance to actually play Cold Bloodlust without having to play a yellow or green. Uh, yes. Which if a blue leader had Cold, was able to Cold Bloodlust. Right. Game would have just been dead. Exactly. Game would have died. Like, and you know, <laughs> they, they try to make it fair by making it cost three, but you know. Yes, but it, those color schemes are too, too, too flexible, too fluid in order to think. But anyway, guys, that is the deck profile. Gogeta, he just smoked my boots with it. Um, complete shutdown, complete control. Anyway, guys, if you like the list, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Leave whatever comments or changes or things that you might like to change. And uh, we want to say thank you for your deck profile. And as always, guys, stay super.